In this video, I'll be using Visual Studio Code and Platform IO, and I'll show you how to set up an AT Tiny 85 project and upload the code to it. I'll be showing you the two errors that I got and how to fix them. And I'll also show you how to easily install USB drivers. Let's get started by confirming Platform IO extension is installed. Click on the alien icon for Platform IO, go to projects and configuration, and create a new project. Enter your project name and select a board and press enter. So scroll down and untick the location checkbox if you want your project to be stored elsewhere. Then scroll right to the bottom and click finish. VS Code is now set up for your project and shows you the settings you chose. Let's get some code in the project now. Open main CPP in the source folder and type in your code. Here, we just wanted something simple, so I chose the blink sketch. Check if it compiles successfully and then try and upload the code. Oh dear, we've hit our first problem. Couldn't find USB tiny device. Now it took a while to find a fix but it's easy to implement. And this is what we do. We open the platform ini file and paste in the micronucleus upload protocol. So now try again. Well, it's an improvement and we now have our second error. The error message isn't much help, but I suspect there's no board driver installed. So let's look in device manager. Oh yes, the board isn't recognized. Download Zadig and run it. The link's in the description. Set it as shown and click install driver. Now try uploading again. And if all is well, you'll be asked to plug in your device. Mine was already plugged in, so I removed and reinserted it. The code now uploads and you should see the LED flashing on the Tiny85 board. And that's it. This video should have been easy to make but I spent hours searching for clues to solve the problems. So please leave comments if it helps you and maybe like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see future videos.